Retorontost. Ja minu tere Maie, on pole sada aastat neimud. Ja minu nii-öelda see libataust on Keskus International Estonian Center, mis on ehitamisega alustatud ja mis on nii-öelda Toronto Eesti maja järglane ja ka nätukene midagi, noh, mitagi natuke teismoodi kui see, mis Toronto Eesti maja on. Ning selle ehitamise järgus oleme siis Estonian Arts Centeri ja integratsiooni siht asutuse abiga loonud videomängu, mis peaks tegema nii mõndagi. Nii et ta peaks tutvustama seda keskuse maja. Kodulehelkeskus.ca on, ota, ma majaka seda mängima, sest see nagu ei ole selle selle eesmärk, aga siin on kolme minutiline videoklipp, mille alusel siis me oleme loonud selle videomängu. Videomäng. Me oleme seda mitu korda nagu peidat hästinud ja viimane kord oli siis Hamiltoni, New Yorki ja Toronto Eesti kooli nende juhatajatega ja sealt tuli väga hea tagasi siid, et Maie, mul jäi teade Karlile natukene hiljaks ja see tõttu ta ei saanud mängida, aga ta saatis kõik õpetajate meeli aadressid, et siis see tuleb see kaagusega. Ja seal tuli hea tagasi siide, sest algselt me mõtlesime, et see on 6-12 aastastele keelekümbluse õpetamise võimalus, keelekümbluse alusel keeleõppe võimalus. Kuid see tagasi side oli niimoodi, et ei, see sobib teiskasvanutele ka ja see mitte ainult lastega koos mängida, vaid ka vanemad, kes proovivad eesti keelt pingselt õppida. Nii et praegu me oleme sellises faasis, et mäng on enam vähem lõpetatud. Meil oli suur kõva ketta kadu ja nüüd me oleme kolm nädalat omadega maas. See oleks pidanud olema juba valmis, aga see selleks. Ja üks väga agar, samuti keelekümbluse õppija, Tommy Diesler, is a young Estonian who is very interested in coding games and has now then provided the heft for it, so to write this game. So I'm going to switch over into English ja ma loodan, et kõik saavad inglise keelest aru. Kui mitte siis, kirjutage mulle chati ja ma võin ka tõlkida, mida vaja. Et praegu järgmine samm siis on, kui te märkate, et on keelelisi... If you notice that there are linguistic... If there are language problems, we have an Estonian philologue who is going to be reviewing all of the text before this goes live. So please don't be alarmed if you see something that is a little bit askew. Um, and so far we have uh, two Estonian school teachers who have helped write the script. Tommy has been coding. We have an Eesti philologue who will then review all of the language. And I thought we would take you through a few of the challenges that this video game provides. And Tommy, I think you can screen share. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and I would like to turn this now over to uh, Tommy to show a couple of the challenges. We're not going to show the, the final result once you have accomplished all of the tasks. But I will give you a spoiler alert. Each time you complete one of the tasks, you get a magwan. And then once you get all of the magwan, not then something wonderful will happen. Uh, so once it's all ready to go, then, um, then you'll see. So this is, uh, Tom, I'm gonna turn this over to you and then there'll be yeah, time nice. to answer questions. We, we didn't present, uh, create a long presentation. It's better to ask uh, questions than otherwise. And just an FYI, our ambassador, uh, Estonia's ambassador to Canada is Thomas Luk, who has, who is the first person that you will meet. Over to you, Tommy. Perfect. Uh, so in the game, uh, this is the first person you meet. This is Thomas Luke here. Uh, so of course, uh, just an introduction to the center. You go to the, the consulate and you get your passport, um, which is used to kind of track your progress throughout the game. Uh, I'll leave it at a slow pace if you'd like to read. So by looking at this, uh, every task that you do, you get a coin and that uh, tracks in your passport. And so each, uh, each task that you complete puts a stamp in your passport according to a Uh So we're gonna start with this first one. I 
did that, but I forgot my coat. Can you help me? Of course I can. Uh, so she's looking for Rogelina uh, Mortal. Uh, so what if I don't know uh, what uh, Rogelina means? So if I go uh, upstairs, there are a few classrooms that we can review some Estonian in. So if I'm confused, I can go in here and see that Rogelina means green. So by going back downstairs. Tommy, you will be able to go into the room. Right, so you can oh. actually read the wall comment, right? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, so I picked up a pilet uh, from the lady downstairs and I can give it to this coat man. And then get the coat. So uh, remembering that Rohendina is green, I'll grab the green coat. Yeah, there's a bit of a lag on the game, but... Oh, is there a bit of a lag? Oh, pardon me. And there we go. So now by completing that task, we get another Mach 1 done here. So there are a few different kinds of tasks. That's a, a color-based one to, to work on, uh, on colors. Uh, but in here in the uh, uh, in the credit union, we have uh, a number of related tasks. So Tara, uh, can you help me count the money in these uh, uh, envelopes and estiqueles? Of course, estiqueles. Great. So by looking at the money, um, we can count that that is who's dollar it. And this task goes for a few, so. This is Kahaksa Tolerit. Like the Goos. And then these days. And then the last task uh, to showcase is uh, on the rooftop, there is a garden that is filled with some animals. This lady. Of course, I can help. So, by going up to the different animals, we can identify them. So, we've been able to find one. This is, of course, is a Arabone, not the Liplikos. These are definitely Mezilana. Mezilazad, I should say. I'm not quite sure what this animal is, so maybe I could go and check with, uh, with this guy. He seems to be interested. Kind of looks like a seal. Perfect. I think there's one more. And it's a Yanez. And with that, we've completed the, uh, the three tasks. You can look here and they're all marked on on your passport. So this is just a, a little example of what, what the game can teach. Uh, we have numbers, colors, and, uh, and animals. And uh, there are a few other things, um, some basic conversational stuff, uh, foods, whatnot. Um, so yeah. Thanks, Tom. There was a bit of a lag on the, for my screen anyway. Uh, it wasn't uh, always easy to follow uh, along what has happened. There'll be music in the background and so forth. But once the game is, is ready, it's playable.
um, with a sheet of instructions uh, of how to play it. Uh, and all feedback is welcome. Nii et hea meelega vastame küsimustele ja soovitustele, kui neid, uh, kui neid on. Yeah, uh, Tommy, when do you think we'll be rolling this out? I think it's going to take another two to three weeks uh, before we're uh, completely ready to go. Yeah, well, most likely mid-April. Mid-April, okay. Nii et selline lugu, nii et see on teiskasvanutele koos lastega mängimiseks, sest videomängud on sellised popid asjad, et selline idee tekkis ja on teostamisel. Kuna te selle valmis saate? Jah, kunagi aprilli keskpaiku, nii et nagu ma rääkisime, kaotasime ja ma oli kõva ketta probleem, nii et seda tuli uuesti üles ehitada, et me oleme nüüd kolmneli nädalat maasomadega aprilli keskel või nagu kolmandal nädalal aprillis peaks see siis valmis olema ja hea meelega siis saadame, kas Heidi sinule ja sina saadad laiali või kas on mingi list, kuhu me saame saata selle lingi. Saada mulle ja ma panen listi edasi ja meie Facebooki gruppi. Kommentaarid, küsimused? Mäng on tasuta, ei ole mingi tasu, ei ole vaja maksta selle eest. Ma ei tea, mida rohkem nagu öelda selle kohta. Kas me saame seda niimoodi lastele edasi anda, et nad saavad seda iseseisvalt vanematega mängida või see on ainult mõeldud nagu koolis mängimiseks? See on pigem mõeldud iseseisvalt mängimiseks. Mis need Toronto Eesti kooli õpetajad mõtlesid on, nad teevad erinevaid programme sellega, mõtlevad läbi, et näiteks need kaks õpetajad nende nende persoonid on seal mängus kusagil, et nad võivad paluda, et õpilased leiavad nad ise üles või leia, kui sa seda mängid, siis leia mingeid muid asju, mis seal peidus on, et see on iseseisvalt mängimiseks. See on siis veebist, is it downloaded off the web, Tom? Yes. It's downloaded, so every time there's an update, there'll be a notice. Kui on mingi uuendus, näiteks kui on mingi väikene viga sees, mida me ei märkanud, siis tuleb teade, et tuleks uuendada ja siis saab jälle uuesti maha laadida. Nii et see on, võib suve tööks anda lastele ja sügisel vaadata, mida te õppisite. 